Duelist Kingdom Part 3, this is the final part, and today is the last day of the event. We are back with free to play Hades, become untargetable and indestructible. You can't kill me! I'm indestructible! Let's do this. It's time to do 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 so after playing a lot of Duelist Kingdom, it seems best areas are either going to be Earth and Wind or Fire and Water. Today is a bit different though since with the exception of Dark Monsters boosted by 300 and Earth Monsters is boosted by 100. I think it's due to people who played lots of magnets yesterday. Boosted areas are Fire and Water, so this time we are going with Fire. So anyway, let's get into the deck with our starters. We got 6 of them, Sphinx and Periton. Sphinx can mill the top card of your deck and you declare what it is before you mill it. Since we are using Aroma strategy, we know exactly what it is. After you do that, you can special summon another Hazy from your hand or grave, then you can go into your boss, Basil Trice. Or if you have a Periton, you can discard any of your Hazies from your hand and tribute this card in order to summon two other Hazies from your deck. That's where you are gonna get your godlike Basil Trice. You will summon your two Hydra and make Basil Trice with them, which will then activate its effect after you exceed summon so that you can attach two of the hazies you sent to the grave, so you will get 4 materials on your basalt rice. We have hazy pillar so that we can normal summon all of these without a tribute, and it allows you to attach a material onto your exceed monster so you can make fire materials on basalt rice. Speaking of basalt rice, let's see how good this monster is. If you have 3 materials, it gains 200 attack per each material. If you have 4, it can't be targeted by card effects. If you have 5, you get immune to effect destruction. So after knowing all of these, only way you could get beaten is that either non-targeting removal, like a drowning mirror force that could shuffle your monster into your deck, or getting destroyed in a battle, which are not gonna happen usually, so this is a great free to play deck in general. We have Rekindling to summon Cerberus and make Xyz with it, which also gets added to our hand due to our event skill. We have Hazy Glory, normal Normally you wouldn't need this, but just in case your opponent gets rid of your Basil Trice, you can use this card to return it back to your extra deck from your graveyard by sending this card to the graveyard. Enemy Controller and Labyrinth of Klein, in case we will need a protection. Let's get to our extra deck. We also play Archfiend's Ascent. It has a protection effect and since it's a free to play rank 6, you can use it. Other than that, other Xyz monsters in the deck are not needed, I just put in there so that extra deck's not empty, so it's pretty much just a bait. If you have any other rank 6, you can play it though. What we have is a free to play deck that you can make with only going through Rage of Volcano once. You can make additions if you have the cards, and I'll put some rank 6 that you could add to give you examples. Also last but not least, you can play Cosmic Cyclone or Mystical Space Typhoon or any other back room removal if you have instead of protection. I have nothing besides free to play removals and they are not that good, especially for this deck I choose to play protection. And that's it, hope you liked the video, check out the gameplay to see our deck in action and as always thanks for watching and see you soon.